Hello all and welcome back to the Invictus stream. My name is Harlan and I'm here today to take a quick look at a game called Sunless Sea. It is a game that is currently available on Steam. It came out at the beginning of this month and I know little to nothing about it. I, uh, I have played a few minutes of it and the only reason I played a few minutes of it was because it turned out my recording software was not on when I thought it was. So I ended up talking to myself like an idiot for a few minutes before realizing that I had not in fact recorded anything. So. We will still be starting a new game, so that uh, anything beyond what I have learned already uh, will be discovered together. So, one of the things I was saying about this game during my last recording was that I love the style. I think it looks really cool, and that was part of the reason that I was really excited to play uh, Darkest Dungeon in the first place, which was another game that we did in the First Impressions uh, series on the Invictus stream. And, um, and yeah, so... Again, I'm going to go over a little bit what I've already done, and I know that what this what this game does is it gives you the options to build a little bit of your character story um, while you're doing it. And one of the things uh, we decided on, or rather I decided on going through it, is that we were going to start with the veteran of the campaign of 68. So I read through all these, and it's really cool. Basically, it gives you the option, you know, do you want, who, who were you before all this? Were you a street urchin? Were you a poet, educated and articulate? Were you a veteran of campaign of 68, an ordained priest, you know? And basically what we, uh, well, I decided was that uh, we would try doing the veteran of the campaign of 68. He sounded really cool, he sounded grizzled. And now that I'm reading it again, it actually says what you have. This will give you a bonus to iron, the skill of causing direct damage. Okay, so I didn't actually read the text underneath anyway. I just went on the story alone and the story of the veteran was one that I liked. Um, so it tells us here what we've gained. Iron, we've got a shady cook who looks just beautifully shady. I wouldn't trust him. Uh, we have 20 more coins in a form called Echo, which is, I think, what they use as their currency. Excuse me. And, uh, yeah, we have the weary so soldier. So, who's the captain? Now, again... We got past this, but, but I'll just stop and kind of go over it. Because, again, this is a first impressions, and I wanted you guys to know exactly what I was looking at and what I thought was really cool. So, you get to choose an ambition, too. I'm assuming this is how you win the game, because it says, what does winning mean to you? The three options that I'm presented, I don't know if this is what everyone was, would be presented, or just because I chose this path, is your father's bones. Your father was lost at sea. You never knew him, but you've often dreamed of him. Fulfillment. Gather a hundred tales, learn all you can of the sea, or wealth. Now, I kind of ruled wealth as not being something that my character, you know, a veteran of, of the War of 68. I don't think he'd really be into that. He very well could be, but not the guy I'm going to be playing. Fulfillment, eh, I think that's more like a poet. I could definitely see the poet wanting to do something like that. I'm going to go with Father's Bones. I think uh, the character I'm picturing in my mind that we're going to be playing as, or I'm going to be playing as, is, is a... He's a loyal guy, you know. He's the kind of guy who would be very much interested in returning his father to uh, to the land that he loves, London. So that's our ambition. And I don't know what this is. I don't know how it... It just says this will determine what people call your captain. But your captain's gender is up to you. So I don't quite know what this would mean. But I, I'm going to... I went with captain. And I'm going to go with captain again. I don't know if that makes any difference. And again, because I am me, and I always like to try to get into it, I'm actually, I'm not going to call him Harlan. You know what? We're doing this new. Let's call him Grinner. Grinner is a name I use quite often when I'm playing games. I think it's kind of a badass sounding name. And in fact, I think he's my, <laughs> I think he's my character name in our Dragon Age RPG that we do on Wednesdays at eight o'clock. So uh, I, I, we'll just keep that name because I'm not that creative when it comes to names, apparently. And this was the portrait I chose last time, but you know what? Just because I chose it last time, I'm not going to choose it this time. Um, he's a vet. You know, he's a, I, I'm picturing him as an honorable fella. But uh, he is eh, not necessarily old. He probably will be. These are all female portraits. And I'm definitely picturing this as a guy. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go this. No, we're going to go with this. He's a little spookier looking, a little more badass. And I'm... Uh, and with a name like, you know, Grinner, I'm going to picture this kind of guy. So, this is as far as I've gotten. Uh, sorry, that's not true. <laughs> I read this part. And I think this is just the starting to our adventure, so we'll read this out real quick. Uh, the Dark Spectacled Admiral. 
One week ago, the Admiral grew incautious after one brandy too many in the Parthenium Club. I think that's probably how it's said. He made references to your father's deplorable end and expressed his regret that he had not prevented it. You are not a member of the Parthenium, but the head waiter once served in your regime. You meet your friend, the head waiter, and learn that the Admiral has not returned since. Perhaps he regrets his outspokenness. You'll have to find him in his lair at the Admiralty. So this says, win three levels of Admiralty's favor uh, and visit the Admiralty's survey office to speak with the Admiral. So that's, I guess, our first mission. That's as far as I've gone. I also started looking through this and that's all we got. So the hold, this is our ship. Now, this I thought was weird, and I'm going to... Oh, I can check it now, because I haven't... No, let's just... Oh. Okay, it is Invictus. Ah! There, I have this Invictus token in my curiosities, which is just bizarre, because I was going to name our ship... I keep words at a bit of an angle. No. Invictus. So, before, I thought I was going insane, because I named it Invictus, and then... Uh, and then I had checked this token and it said Invictus token. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Of course, Invictus, as well as the name of our stream uh, and the name I'm naming the ship, is based on the poem uh, Invictus. And that is the last line of the poem. So I thought it was a little weird and a little, maybe, maybe, maybe fate. Maybe it was fate on our sides that said, okay, perfect. Look, Invictus is going to play this game. We're going to stream it, do some first impressions, and the token that they got is Invictus. So I don't know whether that's just something that everybody gets or because I chose the captain, but either way, we're going to call it fate. So this is our ship, the Invictus a Steamer. I have no idea what any of this does. Um, apparently, this is the deck weapon and the engines. Again, I have no idea what those do right now. We have fuel. We have supplies. We have money. We have this token. I never actually read it. Uh, you are in unforgiving mode with no save slots besides the basic auto saves. You will lose this token if you switch from unforgiving to merciful mode. Well, I guess we can't switch now, can we? Because if we switch now, we wouldn't have the Invictus token and it would not be the name of our ship. At least it wouldn't be as nice to be the name of our ship. We'd have to change the name of our ship to merciful. No, something else. But anyway, well, we'll keep it. And advice for captains. Okay, this provides the advice snippet. Storytell. Sell it to remove this advice storytell. Oh, sorry, let. How did I read that wrong? Sorry, story let. I don't know what that is either way. So, that is officially as far as I've gotten. Everything beyond this tab is new. <gasps> and that's probably why this has popped up. I wasn't reading this, and we're not going to read it right now. So, my accomplishments. I know something of the Untersea. Z. My objective, find my father's bones. Correct. My father's bones. I had to speak with the Admiral. And then I have a bunch of miscellaneous quests. And I'm guessing those are the ones that I have up here. No. 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 Oh, that's my pass. Sorry. Quality of lodgings. and almost safe. I am in a room above the blind helmsman. I don't know if I can interact with that map in the background. We'll find out. Current officers. I have none. I have a shady cook who I trust. I have my ferret mascot. It's immobile and feral, occasionally. And no one else, so let's hope I don't get hurt or die. No one else needs to take over the ship. Shops. All right, that's a lot to read. We're not going to look at that right now. And shipyard. Uh, we don't have very much money. Okay. So. Go away. So this is the dock? That's our ship. Yeah? How do we move it? <laughs> oh, launch. Launch would be E. Okay. Okay. Pause. Play. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. No, let's not bother with that right now. So what do we want to do? Okay, so the next step. Locked. Right, because we need favors. Perfect. Uh, no. London. What's this? Vis okay. Mm, visit the Admiralty Survey Office. They'll pay information from... They'll pay for information. Find out how and why. No, let's not do that right now. And your lodgings. We have. Okay. Let's then just go out on the ocean. 
Use the W as you tap uh, to reach my speed. And so on. Okay. So this is the Z, the Z E E, the Z. I'm guessing it's just kind of you know like a little little fictional universe instead of C. I'm not sure why. I mean, the, the intro story said something about this being underground or something. No, what is that? Your page scored with my no 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 secret. Okay, so uh, it looks like we're discovering things. Hunter's Keep. I don't see a map here. Our fuel. Oh shit. Should we slow down? 19% fuel <laughs> remaining in barrel. Oh shit. 16% fuel. 50% fuel. 40% fuel. Oh, we have nine barrels. Okay. That's <laughs> like, is this shortest adventure ever? Something awaits you. After a short time at sea, a lamp icon will appear above the log book. It means that your opportunities await in the next port. Lovely. Where's the log book? I've encountered an opponent. Now, is that this little thing here? This will happen faster. Sorry, I shouldn't skip. The red shows the range of your deck gun. Keep the enemy in range while your crew works out a firing solution. This will happen faster if you keep the enemy in your prow light. The deck gun will be highlighted. Press space or close the tutorial to continue. Okay. No, I don't see. Oh, what's this down here? A crab. A really giant freaking crab. Okay, let's not. And see we did. This is a bad game to do in first impressions on. I definitely should have figured out what the hell it was before I started. But you know what? We're in it. And we're going to keep going. So, instead of backing out and trying to kill this crab, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to figure out what the hell's going on. And I'm going to find my father's bones because I do not give up. Ever. Okay. The deck gunner could not see the foe. That's fine. Let's see if there's anything that we have in our journal. Now, he said he sold information. If I remember correctly. Uh, one of the things that the story had, story missions had, or something like that, said that the Admiralty's office purchases information. Oh, okay, there we go. Now and then a rocky fragment, now and then rocky fragments fall from the roof of the net, neath of the neath. Oh, we're underground. That makes so much sense. That's why it's called Sunless Sea. Okay. I think I'm figuring out what happens in this now. So basically there was some sort of war on the surface. London fell down. That's what it was talking about. And this is all under the Earth's crust. Okay. That makes more sense. Now and then rocky fragments fall from the roof of the Neath. The decks of older ships are pocketed with scars. A pocked with scars. The sound of one... No land lover knows. Ah, land lover. And no Zayla will forget. This one smashed the glass of the deck. Oh no. Illumin, one sailor cries. The god on the roof, Storm is angry. Do nothing, Storm. One of the three nameless gods of the Z, an absurd superstition. Or make a sacrifice. In the stories, Storm is the noisiest, angriest, and least reasonable of the Z gods. Better not take the chances. So. My captain, my captain. I don't take him as a religious man. No, we'll do nothing. Oh, mutters of disapproval. They want you to offer wine and fish to appease the god, or the god will be cross. Well, Sodom, you're in charge, and they're not proposing to pay off for the wine. You've gained five times the terror, a new total of nine, and you know something of the three gods of the Z. Okay, so, we're our own man. We don't need to uh, appease the gods while we're chugging along on the sun and the sea, looking for information. 
1887 too. Wow. I guess that makes sense too with the ships. So, a chart. Oh, hello. So this must have been what it was saying. Because I know on, on my pop-up it said there there's a something like you found a, um, a keep. That must be that one. So, yeah, that's fine. Let's still, uh, let's still poke around this one. And that makes sense for Matt. A sailor raises her head, sniffs sharply, blood on the wind. Okay. So we're probably venturing into the most dangerous part of the map. Which would just be absolutely hilarious. A bait breeze rises. Scent of stone in some distant desert. You're close to the salt lions. Ah, the salt lions. What are the salt lions? Zeal port. Well, you know what? That looks like a port. Let's go. Let's see how... That circle of light is a port. Go there for stories. Well, perfect. Look, that's what we wanted. Oh, wait. Did we want stories? No, we wanted to sell information. That's still okay. Oh, shit. Okay, so you can't just ram it. There is a vast sorrow in their empty eyes. Two basalt, basalt piece cathedral sides. Visit the unmakers. Blah, 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 blah. Carry this fix to London. Unlocked with 200 times echo. So we need money. Uh, or compile a port report. Let's do this. You gained a fragment. That's all for now. And you've lost terror. Well, that's good. Let's do this then. Notes for the Admiralty. Record the activities in the Unmaker such as they are. Write a stone in silence. You now have one of these, of this. A port report, the salt line. Ooh. Well, it sounds like we're closer to getting in good with the Admiralty. And... A secret. Discuss secrets with your officers to improve their skills. Essay. A essay. This guy's an officer, eh? Speak to. Oh. What do you want from life, Cook? Frrr. He looks you directly in the eyes. Surely. He repeats it more slowly. Sea of lilies. He licks his lips very slowly. Eventually, you have to look away. The Sea of Lilies is somewhere in the East Central Undersea. Okay, so he wants to go there. Let's go there. Why not? Yeah. It looks like we're just collecting stories. Right? Oh, I probably should have bought fuel. But you know what? We don't have money, so let's worry about that later. Ah, another ship. You friendly? Pirate. No, you're not friendly. Now, what do I need to do? Do I just need to keep you in... Your firing solution is ready. Attack your opponent. Click on the deck weapon. Ah! Maybe I should have done that. Ooh! Where's my health? That's not up there, is it? No. Oh yes, you're going down, pirate. Maybe this is how we get money. Ooh. Oh lord. My gosh. Congratulations, you're giving your opponent to the site of their demise to salvage something. Don't mind if I do. Loot and scuttle her. She's a vile old vessel, and these ease aren't safe. Take what you can and move on. You've gained a fuel, you've gained two supplies, and you now have a cache of curiosities. A box full of mystery. Open it. Well, let's open it. Oh. It's gone. But we got another fuel. Good. Okay, now... What the hell is a Z-Bat? Oh, 
and it ran away. There are no islands. Ah, so it's a scouting bat. Clever. And talk of the lights. Nice. Repair the ship. What is our hull? Okay. Available if your hull is at 50% or better, and it is. So maybe we should repair it, eh? And we stopped. Far off, very far off. Someone screams. Ooh, creepy. You're low on supplies. Oh shit, do we have one thing of supplies left? Crud. Should have bought supplies. And stay away from that whirlpool. Guttering stream. Ah. Oh. Am I? Oh, no. December, November. A sailor is praying. That we don't starve. Now, if this gets zero, does it start back up? Or start back down, rather? Come on, cook. Be better at your job. Great. We watch for fungal pads in the Sea of Lilies. There is a prisoner here guarded by not articles. Sea of Lilies. It's a long way to the south. Well, you know, how perfect is that? Because that's what we were looking for, wasn't it? I don't know what that is. Nope. That guy was 90 and we barely beat him. I think we can make it to the Sea of Lilies. We only got, what? Sea of Lilies is some distance to the south. Okay, we got this, we got this. Come on. Wisdom. Where's wisdom? Sea of Lilies. Discovered. Where, though? Oh, straight ahead. Perfect. Excellent. And this looks like a port, too, eh? No, I don't want to do that. Go away. I don't want to fight with you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Run away! I can't go any faster. 16 damage. Oh shit. I'm almost there. Just come on. Come on. Come on. Full powered engines. Ah. Let's do that. Whew. Whew. Close call. Oh, it's a prison. Great. Oh, let him go ashore. Yeah, go ahead. Wisdom. Okay. Oh, yes. We value enthusiasm over formal qualifications. Uh, I understand this fellow is intention to you. Well, we have collected tremendous store stores of knowledge from the Oracle. Tremendous. Let me give you some of my notes. Ooh, plenty of stores. Thank you very much. The cook darts eagerly in the prison as soon as the doors are open. He doesn't even say goodbye. Okay, so he's gone. But what did we get? We have five sea stories, or Z stories. We have five tales of terror, five memories of distant shores, one moves in the great game, five visions of the surface, five supplies. That's good. We've lost the cook, gained five fuel, one strategic information, and one secret. With a new total of three. Well, I'd say that was worth it. And complete a report, an almost an impossible challenge. Impossible to my middle name. Ooh, excuse me. 25 hearts. And money. Where is our money? I've seen it so many times that I've completely forgot. 70. 30 to buy supplies. Well, you know what? We're five now. I'm not too worried about that. I would love to repair this if we could. Or get another officer. Because I have no one. I have no one. <sighs> Left. Oh. A sluggish and hostile merchant. Oh no. He's just the only guy. Okay. So. Let's go home, <laughs> shall we? Can we get back? Is there a way? 
Is there an easy way? Is there like a fast travel? I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Nope, I'm gonna go no. So, let's do this. Whoop. Take this way back. Because, um, why not? You know? We're badasses. Oh, I definitely, definitely, definitely should repair. And you know what? Let's do that again. Oh, it uses supplies to do that. Huh. Well, then you know what? I might turn around and buy some more supplies. Yeah, because now I'm at one. Yeah, let's go back. Sorry, everyone, turn around. We left someone on the dock. Now's the feed, we need provisions. Feast. Oh, turn cannibal. No, we're not going to turn cannibal. I only have 70 echoes. Sell some fuel, but no, we're gonna do that. Bring back port reports and search. Okay, so yeah, you know what? We're gonna get money once we go back anyway. Oh, we already ate. Great. Let's burn some fuel, baby. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Full power to the engines. Full steam ahead. Alright, this shark doesn't scare me. You don't scare me. We're just gonna keep burning it. Because you know what? We're not exactly in the realm of saving fuel at this point. We need to get home. Badly. Otherwise my men will starve. And I am not a captain who lets my men starve. Logbook. Discovered Eakin Rock. Go away, pirate. I don't want you. Although I probably could kill it, eh? Maybe we will. Oh, why is he... Dodged. Dodged. Oh, lights, right. Take them down! 61 hull, that's not too bad. Oh yeah, we got this. Oh yeah, you're so dead. Ba-boom! What if the light has any benefit? Fuel, excellent. Supplies, brilliant. And a cache of curiosities. Tap the bung carefully. A firkin of honey. Of prisoner's honey. Made a real prisoner. Okay. Gators mourn. Swallowing isles some distance in the south. Light them up. Every time I hit this... Think of the firebug from StarCraft. Light him up. Firebug, was that his name? Whatever the guy from the expansion was, StarCraft. And now I've also forgotten the name of the expansion. Ugh, I'm bad today. Eh, we're only like not even halfway there. Easy. Easy peasy. So it just burns it at a faster rate when I when I do the fuel, but that's not a big deal. Because you know what? We got lots. And I'm thinking that once we get back and I sell all these beautiful stories to all the hungry citizens of London for new tales, they will um, flood us with the riches. We'll be flush with money. Something awaits for you in port. Something awaits you in port. Ooh. We got something to look forward to when I get home.
So, um, looks like we're still going to be traveling for a bit, so what are my thoughts so far? Um, this game seems pretty cool. Seems like a neat little idea for a game. Very, very original, I must say. Um, I did not know what to expect coming into it. But I can definitely say that I was not expecting this. How much health has this thing got? 20. Never mind, bitch. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Ah. Oh, maybe not. Hit him. Hit him. There we go. Uh, I was not expecting this at all. Um, I kind of was thinking, you know, ships. And, uh... Oh, did I just smash it? I was expecting ships, obviously, because uh, that's what the steam thing has. Butcher it for supplies or dissect it for knowledge. Let's dissect it. Try again. Oh, fit. Um. Again, I think the art style is pretty awesome so far. Uh, I definitely like it. I can see myself uh, getting bored of it after a while. Um. It feels very in-depth, which is good. It doesn't seem confusing as much as I am confused by a lot of it. It doesn't seem overwhelmingly confusing. It really doesn't. It seems it seems kind of like it's trying to be a lot more complex uh, than it actually has to be. I'm really intrigued by the background of it, and I really like the personalization of it. I do find it difficult... Oh... Sorry, I do find it difficult to, um... Okay, here, here's my thinking. I find it interesting that games try really hard to let you choose a story, background, and things like that. And I like that. I really like having the customizable, you know, you can put your character's name in, you can choose your portrait, you can choose your background. And this I like because it seems to really affect it. It says, you know, your father's bones, what do you want to do? But there were only three options for that. I find that kind of interesting, especially when the... Clearly, the beginning of this game lets you do your own background and stuff. Um, that there's only three options, you know. I can think of three more right now, you know. Oh, you have to save your daughter. You have to find your 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 wife or something like that. Or whatever. It doesn't even have to be like that. It could be... But really, they gave you money, which is the obvious one. You know, get money. Get stories, which was nice. And then the Father's Bone was really the only interesting one. Now, that might be because I chose the military guy, uh, the veteran, sorry. Um, and I hope it is. I hope there's actually a lot more when, when, you, when you put into it. But this game is refreshing. At the same time, it kind of feels a bit almost like a board game. Um, I don't know any of the history of this game. I think it might have been kickstarted. I don't know 100%, but it does feel very board game-esque, and I almost feel like it could be done on a board game. You have a singular map, you're exposing different things, you know, you have tiles face down when you approach an island, you flip it over, and this is where you've discovered. So, I don't know how to feel about it just yet. I'm probably going to play a little more of the next few days, but again, I wanted to give a first impressions uh, to you guys to let you know if this is something you're interested in picking up, what a person viewing this for the first time would kind of think. Because I am kind of an everyman. I would say that I am not an expert gamer or a pro gamer, but I do play games a lot. Um, so it's not something that I do, uh, you know, I'm not extremely good at, but I play so often that I feel like I have a pretty diverse... Anyway, so I'll finish off this. I'm going to buy some more stuff, and then we'll end it there just in case I don't get the chance to kind of explain my feelings. So, okay, so we return to London, collect messages from the heart. Are there messages for you? Let's see. Watch this. Blah, blah, blah. Free evening. Something that's changed underneath. Someone wants to sign on. Gladly. A very fine evening, Captain. Ah. A very fine evening to you, Captain. Uh, my what you might call... My what you might call mentor is very fond of... Ah. My what you might call mentor is very fond of adventurous sea captains. And he would like to offer you what you might call a dispensation on account of he is so fond of sea captains. Behind the blind bruiser on the dock stands a, dr a dray piled high with fuel and supplies. Hmm. Accept, inquire, refuse. Let's inquire. 
Who is this patron? Is there a catch? He runs a very fine and very liberal establishment just across the river. Uh, I do not imagine he would refuse your offer. I do not imagine he would refuse your offer. I think opposition should arise for you to return his kindness. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> He's going to want a favor later on. But you know what? Who cares? Let's take it. Let's take it all. Now, where did it say? We still need three admiralty favors. That's fine. London, visit this surveyor's office. Go. They'll pay information for you. Find out what and how. Burr. Wisdom. Let's see. Salt lines. Continue. Oh, we gotta go back every time. Okay. Wisdom. Burr. The oracles look hungry. Yes. Report submitted. Right. Because we got all those beautiful reports. A deplorable end. Dropped hints about your father. Oh, so we're ready. Yeah? No? You have two. There should be one more. There. Oh, now we're at, we're with the Admiral. He surveys across the house of the merchant captain for whom he was in the Admiral person. At the point when the Admiral drops hints for other people, what does the Admiral know? Yes, there was a certain report. Uh, King Eater Castle, the empty temple at the end of the world. Your father went there. No one makes the pilgrimage there if they intend to return. One way or another, no pilgrim returns home. So seek them in the far southeast. Okay, cool. So we got our thing. We figured out where to find Dad's bones. Might as well sell the rest of the stuff. Submit your port reports. It's a lot of clicking. Speak to who moves in the great game. Submit your port reports. Do we still have more of these? Sure. Okay, let's just... I don't know. It's a lot to... Oh, man. Okay. Look, this is the perfect game for someone who wants to sit down and, uh, you know, really invest the time to read something. And do not get me wrong in any way, shape, or form. That is excellent. That is exactly what I'm looking for a game at certain points. Um, you know, it, it, it's like reading a novel. And I got to say, the text written in this is fantastic. It's really, really well written. And uh, the artwork style, everything is on point. I could not say a bad thing about this game because I, I was, holy shit, do I have 16 fuel? I just submitted a bunch of stuff that I probably, I think, I think we did a really good run, I'll be honest. I think that run that we did was probably amazing because we, we went, we kind of just did a random loop and we got the captain, or sorry, the cook exactly to where he wanted to. They threw a bunch of stuff out of us. We've already, we've already basically know where to go to, to, to complete our story mission. And I guarantee, look, we're already at 240, and I'm sure I have more things to turn in. And I would bet that uh, if if I went through it all and turned everything in, we would still... Actually, I can see what's in my hold. Yeah, look, we still have all these other things. The sun remains, mystery, all these stories, secrets. If I turn this on, I'm sure we'd get a lot of money in and be able to upgrade our ship. And again, if you're looking for that, I think this is probably perfect. I think it's right on point for what people would be looking for in that. Um... Is it something I am looking for? Maybe. Yeah. I could definitely see coming back to this thing, you know, on a Sunday night when my wife's in bed and I'm looking for something to really kind of get invested in. These are great games for that. Um, so, yeah. No. And again, I mean, it sounds like I'm giving this a bad review, but I'm, I'm really not. And I'm not even really reviewing it. I'm just letting you know what my thoughts are as they're kind of coming uh, to me. And uh, the artwork, the writing, everything about it is really great. It is very in-depth. I still kind of feel like this could be a game that has a board. I mean, you know, if you had a board printed this big, I mean, it's not, it doesn't, wouldn't even really have to be that big, you know, a fold out board for your desk and sitting around having multiple people like this, 
you know, having ships launching from various positions. It, it feels like an in-depth board game, to be honest. Um, and that's not bad. That's a really cool thing, especially being a gamer myself and not just a computer gamer or a, um, you know, role-playing gamer, uh, but also a board gamer. I'm huge into board games, so that's kind of where I'm, I'm getting the feeling from this. So, yeah, I will check it out again. First impression so far, though, very cool. A very cool game. Very nice looking and, and interesting. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, again, please check out some of the other videos on our stream. I'm going to be posting videos like this all the time. Uh, first impressions, things of that nature. And um, excellent. See you soon and have a good one. Cheers.